Welcome back my friends to another reaction video. I hope you're having a good day. If you're not, I hope it gets better. This video is from Police Watch. Let's see what it's all about. Let's go. On September 18th, 2023, officers were called to a store in regards to two women who got caught stealing lingeries along with other items. <laughs> Okay. Let's all walk back inside. How about that? Can you walk back inside? We lost the rest energy. Is there an LP tonight? Sir? Is there an LP right now? Hey, do you have the video up? Unfortunately, I don't. But we have witnesses, more than enough Yeah, because I'm going to say, can I just look at it real quick? What, I, I don't have it. Because what happened, you just close it. Yeah. Oh. Two things are down. Okay. But okay. Did, did it actually record? It, or it, That's going to be hard to say, because... But we have enough visual witnesses. Okay. And mm -hmm. I, I'm one of them, and what happened is... One of them took that dealer's bag... Okay. seen what one of the managers because mm -hmm. it was like all of us were on it and the one I saw the one with the red pigtails okay. I don't even know what you call those the from the sides yeah. she came in and she went right into this fitting room mm -hmm. when she came out she had nothing I had the security girl go and check, check behind inside her and, and it was just two empty hangers gotcha All right. and then they also had empty hangers in lingerie and my manager showed, like when they were walking out, had the empty hangers and they were bold enough to just leave. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. He's not. It's my friend because I have a car, so I was just. All right. Hang up the phone for me. Right. Can you go ahead and read something to both of you? You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. Do you understand those rights as I've read them to you? Yes. Okay. You need a receipt? Just a total of everything that they were stuffing in their purse. And they made it past all points of sale. We got them by the car. Nice. Is that the only bag? Yes. This is a handbag as well. Two. He's first, Caleb. You guys have Caleb. Alpha. Can you change it to 2nd 22? So 98 21 or more. We're right here by the. I will get these people. Oh my. If you're gonna. If they're gonna go thieving, you guys, why take stuff that can catch. I'm, I'll keep saying in these videos, why keep taking stuff that gets you charges? Especially stuff like that, which is top of the line charge right there. Big felony, you know what I'm saying? Another thing, you gotta, you gotta give it to the bed, you know. Walking back into the store with the you know, walk of shame, you know what I'm saying? Like, I did what about come on, man? Come on, man. She's trying to throw it under the car, like, you can't see from far away. Like, oh, what's she throwing that under there? You know what I'm saying? In her mind, she was like, well, if I can't see it, nobody can. But yeah, people that are kind of further from the car and they're your, their visuals over here, you know what I'm saying? They, they didn't see under their car. I'm just saying, so you ain't, you ain't being slick. Another thing, I wonder if they pay for the tattoos. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, in case you don't know I mean, you know, there's some people that will go get to a tattoo shop or somebody that tattoos and they're like, yeah, I want this and stuff like that. And then when they get the tattoo, they're like, it, it looks good, but they say, nah, man, I ain't liking this stuff. You messed it up and I ain't going to pay. I don't have to pay because it's bad. You know what I mean? And they, they leave with free tattoo, especially, you know, in places where they don't charge up the front. Cause my, my brother said to an artist and he started charging like when people wanted a, a tattoo that he tell them no I, you need to pour me the money at the bank or you got a like, schedule and you got to pay first you know because he had a couple of people trying to do that he'll he'll tattoo them and 
be nice tattoos and stuff like that, but then they'll say, oh, I forgot my money, or I didn't like the tattoo, so I don't got to pay you. And yeah, it was, he had a problem when he, when he barely was starting, so he got to a point where he charged him first. That's what I'm saying. I wonder if they paid for their tattoos, because they're, they're even trying to pay for other stuff, you know what I mean? But yeah, oh, oh, what is wrong with these people taking stuff with them and they get caught? It's like they think they're never going to get caught, so they carry their addiction with them. Which gives them a lot of board charges. Oh, oh no. You know what I mean? Do you have test kits for it? I don't think I do. What, uh, I have some, which purse was that in? I'm gonna have to this blur right these. You guys. Sarah, come out here with us. Can you guys look good? Do you remember the rights that I already read you? Yeah. You said um, yes then. You still saying yes now? Or do you, you want to talk to us? Again? You want me to read it again? No, I'll talk. We'll talk. Okay. So we'll just walk right through, walk me through what was going on today here, why we're here. I came here because, um, I just, I did this for him, to be honest. I don't know. My friend's daughter's birthday, and I owe him, like, $500, and he told me I could just go to the store for him and grab some stuff for him, so that's what I did. Did she help you at all? Mm -hmm. She wasn't with us. So. Okay, but I mean, we, like, did she know that this is this is what you came here to do? Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Did she help you at all? Select any of the items or anything like that? She what was she? What was her involvement in all this? She had to mm -hmm. I guess for herself. For herself. Yeah. So you both came here. You came here because obviously you you want to get something for your friend and. Well, um, and you owe him some money. I get it. I understand. I understand that part, but it happens. Uh, so you just kind of took it, shoved it in your purse. Yeah. You had no intentions to pay. Basically, what you're saying. I can buy like two things, but that's. I guess I just got greedy. And... And it was wrong, I had a feeling I shouldn't have been doing it. Okay. Okay. Let's start on Wednesday. Good? I don't know. Sorry, you must be going. So, uh... What happened? You get tough times. <laughs> So the cameras were down completely? Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Caleb. Caleb? Yeah, I'm gonna fall for him. With who? With my husband. Your husband? Yeah. Alright, well, right. tell him to call him back because we need to talk to you about some stuff, right? I'm not calling you. Said you all probably agree with the marriage. That works. Good. So, you remember the rights that I read you? You said yes. You understood them. Are you willing to talk to us right now? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, what what brought you here today? Oh, we're going shopping for our friend's daughter. Okay. So, you're, you're coming here shopping, pick out some stuff. Probably what did you pick out? I picked out okay. just this sports bra and some underwear. So. Okay. So, did you intend to pay for them? I did. Okay, so, but, but you walked out of the door. So, right. we appreciate you being honest yeah. about that, all right? It shows, shows some type of character, you know what I mean? It's not trying to deceive us or anything. Mm -hmm. I mean, regardless if you were trying to deceive or not, we are caught ready in the store, okay? And now we gotta address the other issue. Alright, what was found in your purse? I'm not gonna lie to you. We're in a friend's house and I didn't have a purse. I didn't bring any of my belongings with me. So I was like, can I just borrow a purse to put stuff in it? So I just grabbed that purse. I didn't know if anything was in there. And if it was, I didn't have any money. I'm not a drug user. I'm not gonna, I smoke. As far as I'm concerned, I'm gonna say I have no It's not my purse. I have a whole big problem with purse. So you're saying this purse is not yours? No. That's what you're telling us. Whose is it? Whoever I was at the friend's house with. When did you when did you grab the purse? Before we left here. So today? Yeah, because I didn't have a purse. I didn't have no pass with me. Honesty goes a long way with us. You know what I mean? mean? It's, it's kind of hard to believe. I, I was about to say, it is hard to believe it's not. She don't have a purse, you guys. I mean... 
You see, I, every female I know has a purse, you know, unless they got like it got stolen or something. Because you know, you're walking down the street and stuff like that, and some people trying to do the same thing these people were doing, but two other people on the street and they like, give me your stuff, you know, saying it's stick up, and they jack your purse and your cell phone and all that stuff like that. I might believe that, you know what I mean? But I don't think that really happened to her since they're out there trying to do the same thing at the store. You, you know what I mean? Just that's what I'm thinking and stuff like that. But like I was saying, she probably forgot she had that in there when she went thieving. You, you feel me? And I'm guessing the other girl that was saying that is she owed her friend. I guess that's the friend that has the daughter. Because I think she said she was shopping for uh, stuff for her daughter. She owed her five hundred and stuff and said, hey, girl, let's just go over here. And I, you know, I'll pay you off by giving some stuff for your daughter, you know, for her birthday and stuff like that. Oh, <laughs> tell you mistakes people make. You gotta know, man. If, hey, if you if you're using stuff that you ain't supposed to, because it's bad for your body, please leave it at home. You know, and hopefully you change later on and help yourself out and stuff. But don't be carrying it in places, man. Especially if you're trying to do illegal stuff, criminal stuff. You know, and uh, <sighs> she about to get supercharged, you guys. But yeah, I think usually like if you're gonna borrow somebody's purse, which is kind of rare. Uh, I don't know. I'm not a female, right? But maybe it's. It happens most of the time. You probably look in the purse to see there ain't nothing they ain't supposed to be in there. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, if I go, if I'm going to go shopping at a grocery store and I go get the bag because, you, you know, lady, people like stores ain't getting plastic bags anymore and stuff like that. Got to get my little green bag or whatever, red bag or whatever. I usually like open it up, make sure there ain't no receipts and stuff like that. There's something that I take it out. Go shopping. You feel me? I really go shopping. I do pay for my stuff. I'm just to let you know. I do pay for my stuff. You might end up seeing me in a video too. I ain't trying to do that. But yeah, I think it's her purse. What do you think? Let me do it down below. I believe that you're saying that this purse is not yours when there's rolling papers and there's all kinds of stuff in there. You smoke weed. Where I get it? But, no, honestly, listen, my intent I know when I grab other, I don't grab other people's stuff without looking at it. Make sure ain't nothing in there that ain't supposed to be. First of all, correct. I just don't grab random stuff. Yeah, the Look, you're being cooperative with us, and we appreciate that. But at the end of the day, you understand you're the one walking with the purse. You're the one holding the purse when we see you. It's hard for us to differentiate that from being somebody else's purse, right? So, um, all right. This is what's going to happen, all right? Unfortunately, you, you are under arrest, okay? You're being charged with the job lifting. Alright. And then you're also going to be charged with possession of controlled substance. Alright. So you're going to be charged with. Excuse me. Alright. Sorry. Now, I normally don't do this, and I'm probably going to kick myself in the ass for doing this, but I will let you call your husband back. Alright? And it's going to be a quick call just to tell him what's going on and where you'll be. Alright? You will get a bond. You will be able to bond out. All right. You could you understand what he's saying with that? Yeah. It means that you could you could be home by tonight, right? Yeah. So you will be a bond. You, are you also living poor St. Lucie? So your bond might be a little higher because you're out of county, but it's still feasible. Okay, you just get a mail bondsman and stuff like that. They have a list at the jail. Uh, unfortunately, possession is possession. It's in your it's in your control. That's why you got to be careful of whose stuff you pick up around here. You know, you just. Don't pick up random people's purses and stuff like that, all right? Or if you do, at least at least check it. Right. Mm -hmm. Just watch her for a yep. Is this your first time getting in trouble? Oh, all right. Three, four, one. Are you doing the itemize for yeah. the girls? Do you actually witness them take anything? Um, the assistant store manager witnessed them stealing the Dillard's bag from here. Okay. And went over to the men's suit fitting room and put it in her handbag. Okay. And then everything else was taken upstairs and they went in the fitting room. Okay. I witnessed them and followed them out of the door to their car. Okay. And she saw the sheriff car coming and said, oh, fuck, I'm not going to jail. And threw the bag and everything underneath the next car. Just right there. Yep. Thank you. Up to you. I have, um, that is mine and then our camera operators as well. Okay, perfect. And here's the two copies of the receipts. I have ours. Yeah. Yeah. Just save it now. Yep. 
this is all in one bag or this is nope. separate? These are, uh, these are separate, separate and these are separate. So two separate bags. It comes at like two hundred and twenty dollars. Which one was in which bag? This is for the this is for the girl with the red hair. So this looks like which bag, bluey bag or the coach bag? I'm not sure which. Um, I don't know. I didn't see what they were wearing. I think this was the coach bag. I'd have to double check. But this was the girl with the pink hair. Pink hair and then red hair. Yes. Right. No. No, pink hair and black brown hair. Brown hair. Brown hair. Okay. Brown yeah. or black hair. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Makes sense. Sports oh, sports thanks. bar. Oh, and uh, the one. Thank you, I appreciate it. Right. <laughs> you know, I'm thinking by the people that work there are like, we just folded them and you're all folding them, put them on the floor. Oh, it's a bad day for that girl that got uh had that stuff in the per it looked like a lot, you guys. That looked like a good amount. That's a good, if they find her guilty, she going in for a minute, man, because that's that was a good bunch. Uh, the other one, it seems like she's going to get like a, a misdemeanor or something like that because they didn't, I don't know what the state, how much it, you're supposed to go over, but like what they say, 200 some dollars is, I don't think it goes over like the felony. They're probably going to like trespass her, give her a ticket and let her go, you know, but the other one. She, she ain't going, she ain't going, she going to jail, you guys. I'm just saying. Oh, the husband's going to be like, girl, unless he already, he, he knows that she does that or whatever. Maybe, possibly, I'm wrong and it really ain't hers, but it's on her position. So, yeah, if she really don't do that, maybe uh, it's a really bad day even for her husband, especially if she got kids too and stuff like that. Oh, <laughs> If you do borrow stuff, you guys, car, bicycle, skate, rope rolling blades you know look into this stuff and make sure ain't nothing in there ain't supposed to be in there you know what i'm saying you want to get surprised if you you end up doing something criminal or if for some reason they just pulled you over because you look like a certain person they're looking for you know they match the description but it's not them you know it happens it's right right right, right. Fit my daughter. Oh. Around. Put your back to your palms together. Or the other way. My bad. There you go. What did you say? Let's walk on out. I don't know. I think that's her. It is what it is. Fuck what it is. There you go. Your arms fit right in that hole too. That is a little more comfortable. Okay, so let me see if I can move this way over here. They were both arrested for shoplifting. Petit theft, first degree, 100 to 75. Oh, whoa. <laughs> that state don't play. <laughs> if it goes over 100, you you get petty theft. Okay, so they arrested for, for that. Usually they just like, you know, give you a little ticket. Another state, they give you a little ticket. You know, maybe trespass you for a place and let you go. Uh, And one of them was charged with possession of controlled substance, you guys. Yeah, that was the... Uh, one with the brownish hair. <laughs> yeah, you gotta watch, man. Don't carry nothing you don't need unless it's your ID and some cash money or your credit cards when you're going somewhere, you guys. If you need to do something because you are fighting it to try to stop doing whatever it is you're doing, whether it's stuff that you ain't supposed to be smoking, eating, drinking, uh, leave it at home, you guys, you know. Take care of yourself and hopefully you take care of yourself a different way to where you don't need it anymore. <laughs> you don't need no more charges, I'm just saying. And, uh, yeah. Don't do stuff you ain't supposed to be doing unless you don't want to be free to do stuff anymore. <laughs> so what do you think about these lovely ladies, uh, going around shopping? Shopping! 
<laughs> let me know down below thank you for watching thank you for your time hit the like button because it really helps this video and channel out and because of you hitting the like button youtube will suggest this video and channel to other people that never seen it before and that's the best way to support the channel and i really appreciate it you want to watch another video you can watch this one right here or the playlist and i will see you next time bye